Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. Um, do you know... I don't. ...that uh, I... Okay. Have coming out of a super secret for you. I knew it. I knew you were gay all this time. Congratulations. <laughs> Honestly, when do we tell your mom? <laughs> Never, because she already knows. No, uh, I I hate bees a lot. Oh yeah, you've told me about your. your have I d- disdain for bees? Yes. Why did I tell you about that? I don't. I don't think. I don't know why. I can't think how that would have came up in a normal conversation. We've done. We've talked so many times on this podcast. You just got to deal with the fact that we've had conversations. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess you're right. But so, anyways, I saw an article that there is like bees have kind of evolved, uh-huh. and that um, you know, because I think like there's. There's one that I think there's a bee shortage. You know, they always say there's a bee shortage. And like, bee without shortage. bees, like, everything basically dies because they pollinate everything that, like, grows vegetables and all that stuff. Okay. But they said that uh, most bees feed off pollen and nectar. They said, I, I don't remember where it was. I think it may have been, like, Australia or something. They found bees that eat rotting flesh. What? Yeah, like, they. Ew. Yeah, they don't. Um. They don't, like, use pollen. They, like, put, like, the rotting flesh in their cheeks, and then they go back, and they still make honey, but the honey tastes different. Uh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> they go get dead deer carcass, and they turn it into honey. It turn, it just, they make jerky instead of honey? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you go to the beehive, it's just a smoker. Yeah. It, yeah, they're just like, yeah. That... Which is odd, because bees fly away from smoke that's what they use the smoke thing to uh it makes them docile like hindu cows is that what it does yeah like the beekeeper uses a smoker and calms the bees down so that oh can... is that what it actually does i thought it yeah. was like to dissipate them it like it's also it's like uh i don't know it's like a xanax for bees <laughs> i guess man i guess he's like let me just spray some zanny smoke on these fools yeah maybe they're just using marijuana and they're really just blowing <laughs> their hot box and all. yeah they're just blowing hits in their face <laughs> guys out there would just like uh have you ever seen those stupid videos where like we're like uh i think there was one it was like some random rapper and something he had like a machine that was like he would just put a bunch of weed and it was blowing weed smoke into the crowd oh i did see and that, i was man. like why are you wasting that much weed one yeah. and then isn't that is there like a consent a consent issue going on <laughs> at that point? Like, saw, yeah, that was I can't remember the rapper's name either, but I did see that happening. I've also seen people doing this in like their personal homes, where like, oh, I managed to turn my leaf blower into a bong. Like, yeah, come that on, that seems a little <clears throat> forceful. It seems, yeah, it's like, like hey, let's just force the smoke down your throat to the point that like it would be fine for half a second, and then you would just be losing your mind and coughing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, man. For some reason, people who use drugs are the some of the best engineers you'll ever meet. <laughs> they will MacGyver anything so that they can smoke out of it. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, people, whether it's crack or whether meth or weed or whatever your whatever your smoke be. Right. Um, so what, these bees, uh, do they do it with human flesh at all? Oh, maybe that's how the mob gets rid of bodies now. With zombie bees. Zombie bees. I don't know. I got. I. I'm actually. You. I mean. You can try to look it up, or I'll look it up. I don't. I. I uh, lo- no. I refuse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't want to look up zombie bees. No. No. But I do want to speculate. To speculate, like what the honey would taste like, and like if it's if it's safe for human consumption. I, there's a, there's a lot of questions running through my mind, and none of the answers. Yeah. You know. I. I mean, <clears throat> do like to bring truth, not facts here. <laughs> Are you finding out that it's a hoax story? Uh, <laughs> Is it a hoax? See here. You can't find any proof of it? Yeah. No, I... I uh, Uh-oh. Oh, I, I didn't... I mean, also, I don't like to, like, read while I'm trying to talk because it doesn't work. <laughs> so I, uh, I, I, I googled zombie bees real quick. Yeah. And, and, and like, it brought up a bunch of videos, and I'm not going to try to watch a video. No, and, no, like, yeah, yeah, no, so. yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But I would, I would hope that they don't sting. Because I just don't want to be stung by a bee. What the hell is that? That's not even the interesting part about the story. All bee stings. I think they said these ones don't. They bite. Oh. So you'd rather be bitten by their dirty flesh-written mouths, huh? Uh, 
I don't know. No, I think that anything that eat. See, this is my issue with flies. It's like flies. Yes, they're annoying. They make an annoying sound. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah. I also don't want you because I know they like eat and then they throw up on whether they eat on like immediately or something. I don't know. I don't is that know how it works? works? Is that more truth, not facts? I don't know anything about bugs, but I know flies eat shit, and I don't want anything that's got its feet all over shit jumping on my food and or on me. Oh yeah, yeah. Flies are in the most disgusting stuff ever, and they definitely aren't washing their hands. Like after they go to the bathroom, yeah. So, so then and then they land on your taco, and then it's like that's not a euphemism. That's an actual t- actually talking about a taco, and uh, and then you got to eat the fly poo because it's like it's just wandering around talking on your. And that's my issue. So when it comes to bees, I don't know. I'm not as bothered by a bee because I'm like, yeah, it's just a bee. At least they hang out in flowers. But as soon as you put a bee on a pile of rotting ground beef, I'm like, eh, you know what? It's basically a fly at that so point. So we to me. agree that they're gross and that they should. Be- These particular bees are gross. Normal bees are All just right. like a hazard. They're like a life hazard. You know. You know what makes me really mad about them is when you walk by their nest and they just sting. You didn't even know it was there. <laughs> when is the last time that has ever happened? That happened to, to me in two thousand. 15 so 20 years ago yeah i was walking to the carport and a bee was just like but dang and you know what i did afterwards you know what i did i went over there i took care of that goddamn nest and when's the last time that happened to you prior to that oh i run away from them no when's the last time it happened when's the last time you got stung by a bee that wasn't that time that happened seven years ago uh eight years ago mind you god when was it okay then this is like one of those irrational fears. <laughs> because I run away from them forever. Yeah, okay. it's like, I don't know. Honestly, I, if, look, people get stung by bees every day. I Jonas. duck my head. I swing my arms. Yeah. I Naruto run away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. And, I mean, like, I guess it's been effective it for you? It saved me. Sure. It saved me my whole life. This is one of those irrational fears. It's like, I can't stand bees, but why? Bees have done nothing to you but, like, once eight years ago and then prior to that, probably, like, ten years before that. They support my life. They, they, they bring all the yummy foods that are, that are vegetables and fruits to my world. That's, that's a great take, Jonas. But I don't that's appreciate them as much as I should. I mean, sure. Sure, man. You got it. What do you? How, why do you? What do you think about bees? I don't. I don't know. Like I said, they're just like a life hazard. Bees are essentially like living puddles. Like you got to watch out for puddles. You don't want like somebody to drive over the puddle and splash you. Yeah. That, yeah. Bees and like puddles next to the side of the road occupy the same head space for me. Okay. Is there like an insect or some sort of thing that you're just like, ew, gross? I hate you. Uh, yeah. Cockroaches, flies. Um. Uh, silverfish because they just they, they just look like eldritch horrors like uh, denizens of Cthulhu. Are those the, like the little the little multi legged like the house headed like house centipedes with all the multiple legs and feelers oh, and shit? Really gross. Yeah, I can't stand it. But they like I said, man, they're just they're like denizens of Cthulhu to me. So they look like they should not belong on this planet. Um, give me an uneasy feeling, especially how fast they are. So yeah, those are gross animals, but bees gross. I don't know. It's more just like, I I'll watch out. them is gross, dude. I don't know. Bees are like other people's dogs to me. It's like, just keep your freaking bee, bee dog away from me. But you like dogs. I do. I do. And I would like bees if they were like on a leash. Keep your bees on a leash. <laughs> God damn it, Queen Bee. Keep your goddamn bees. Get them off my lawn. Keep them on my leash, on your leash, because my leash is not long enough. Yep. Yeah. I don't... I like... Okay. Mm -hmm. Honey is a good game to get into. No. It is. You can sell honey for a lot of money. But bees suck. Oh, I would never do it. But, like, if I had, like, a family member who wanted to, like, harvest bees, I would support them in that. And I'd like be like, hey, let me run the business side of your bee biz. And we call it all the bees. I wonder how many bees it takes to like have a s- sustainable honey supply. You well, need, like, but for whole... how many people, I guess, is the answer. I mean, you know, just from personal use, honey. I mean, probably this one colony is plenty. <laughs> just one colony? I would think that's – how much honey are you eating? I don't know. I want like four bees. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> just get a queen and like two others. And they're yeah. just it's like a little a little triad of uh, bee action going sure. on. Sure, three bees would be fine too. 
<laughs> just the queen hangs out. The other two yeah. are just pumping out honey. Look, as long as as long as they produce enough honey for me to like butter a roll every like week or two, Wait, then I'm, how I'm do you good. butter a roll with honey? It's not butter. I mean, you know, honey a roll didn't sound honey right. Honey a roll. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.